In this example, we are talking about clearing the fractions. And our goal is to first find the common denominator and then use it to clear the fractions from the equation. We can only do this in an equation, not from a simplified command term. But pay attention here, in lesson 2.3.0, clearing fractions technique, we are not simplifying. We're just going to get rid of the denominators. So step one, find the common denominator. We have a five and a three. So the common denominator is three times five. So we can take this entire equation and multiply both sides by three and five. What you will notice when you do that is that when it multiplies this term, the fives cancel and you're left with three x. When three and five multiply one third, then three and five are the top, the threes cancel and you're left with plus five. Here there was no denominator. What we do to the left hand side to keep the balance we do to the right hand side, so we multiply two x times three times five. And that is something that we can simplify in our next line. So three x plus five equals two times three is six times five is 30 x. And our goal is not to solve it yet. We're not going to simplify or collect. We're just going to deal with clearing the fractions. Okay, next lesson we'll do more. So first step, identify the lowest common denominator, the common denominator. Here it's three and t. Then we multiply both sides of the equation by three t. When we do that, here it has a t, so the t's cancel, and you're left with two t minus one. When we multiply by this term, the threes will cancel, and we'd be left with plus t. Then comes our equal sign. What we do to the left-hand side, we do to the right-hand side. Here there's 3t on the denominator. Here there's 3t, which is multiplying this fraction. So they cancel out, and we're left with 1 plus t. All right? We won't do anything more with that. If we want, we can collect these like terms. 3t minus 1 equals 1 plus t. But the point now, this is the most important thing. How do we turn a messy expression, or a messy equation, it has an equal sign, into something where the fractions are gone and that allows us to carry on next lesson with some solving. Number three, very slightly different. You have a t and a t plus one. When we multiply by the common denominator of t, t plus one, not a very good t there. Then keep the t plus one in brackets. And the reason that becomes important is evident when we do the expansion. Well, the clearing, actually. So 5 over t multiplies by t and t plus 1. The t's will cancel, and you're left with 5 and t plus 1. Plus, when this multiplies the second term on the left-hand side, the 2, then there is no denominator, so nothing to cancel. So you need the t and the t plus 1. When we multiply the right-hand side, t plus 1's will cancel, and you'll have 3t times t. All right? And in subsequent lessons, we'll expand and collect like terms and, and carry on with solving. But for now, our goal is to move from an equation which has denominators, has fractions, to an equation on one line. Last one for today, number 4. We have a common denominator of 2, x plus 2, and x minus 5. It's always easier to see the clearing when you're multiplying through if you keep your common denominator in factored form. It's very tempting from grade 7 and 8 to start expanding, but it actually doesn't help when our goal is to clear fractions. So here, the x plus 2s cancel. So our numerator becomes 2x multiplied by 2. And the x plus 2 is cancelled. 
x minus 5, however, also needs to multiply this numerator. Then, the numerator is x minus 1. Keep it in brackets. Here, the x minus 5s will cancel, but we still have a 2 and an x plus 2. Equals. On the right-hand side, 3. The 2s now cancel, but we still need an x plus 2 and an x minus 5. And that's it. Identify your common denominator. Expand. Keep it in factored form so that when you do your expansion, it's really easy to see what cancels. And then you have a much, nice, a much nicer equation to solve where there are no fractions anymore. So the goal today, clearing fractions.